Jacqueline Cochran made a lasting impact in the air and space realm and helped give women opportunities to fly for their country and gain recognition for their skills. Her birth date is unclear, but she was born in Florida on May 11, between 1906 and 1908, and often referred to herself as an orphan to prevent the public from knowing of them and her childhood. In 1932, Cochrane found her love for aviation when she rode with her pilot friend in an aircraft. She began to take lessons subsequently, and within three weeks was a respectable flyer and received her flying license. In 1936, Cochrane married Floyd Odlum, who encouraged her to fly directly to her clients for her personal cosmetics business. Cochrane gained more flying lessons in San Diego, California, and became an established flyer. She then flew around the country as a traveling business person promoting her cosmetics line and even Marilyn Monroe endorsed her lipstick. Cochrane quickly developed her flying skills and was the only woman to compete in the McRobertson Air Race in 1934 and the Bednick's Race in 1937. She, alongside the pioneering Amelia Earhart, fought to open races to women pilots and succeeded after years of diligence. By 1938, Cochrane was considered the best female pilot in the United States and set a new transcontinental speed record. In addition, she became the first woman to fly a bomber across the Atlantic and received several Harmon trophies as the outstanding woman pilot in the world. Cochrane then worked for the Royal Air Force in the British Auxiliary Transport Service as a wing commander and ferried U.S.-built Hudson bombers to England while recruiting women pilots to join the auxiliary. In 1940, Cochrane wrote to Eleanor Roosevelt to launch a women's flying division in the Army Air Forces. She argued that women pilots could perform the domestic and non-combat aviation jobs to allow more men to fly in battle. After succeeding in gaining more women flyers in the Army, she formed and directed the non-combat branch, WASP, or the Women's Air Force Service Pilots in the Army Air Corps. For her time in war, Cochrane received the highest non-combat award given by the United States government the U.S. Distinguished Service Medal. Post-war, she became the first woman to break the sound barrier and set a new record for flying AF-104G Starfighter at 1,429 miles per hour. In 1948, she joined the U.S. Air Force Reserve as a lieutenant colonel and retired in 1970. Cochrane was one of the first women pilots to join the U.S. Air Force. Cochrane died in 1980 in Indio, California, and the airport in Desert Resorts Regional was renamed Jacqueline Cochrane Regional Airport in her honor. Jacqueline Cochrane was titled the Speed Queen because no other male or female pilot held more speed, distance, and altitude records in aviation history than her at the time of her death.